All right. Let's take a look at this. And as we're going through this, you have a few notes here. Uh, some things are better, some things are worse. Uh, I should ignore the wings and the tail for now. You're going to add some noise and shakes to a lot of places to make the body parts feel more connected. And the final roar is just as rough as before. Probably even worse. Uh, those are your words. Let's see. And... I would say worse, but it kind of has the same uh, notes as some, someone as before where this feels very, very separate where I see a rotation kind of out of that middle part, but I don't see, it's not quite, it feels very like disconnected from here on, like there's nothing really influencing this section as you do this, but the same thing uh, as you go up and watch out, it's almost a bit timed with the wings. So I know you have wing uh, notes to address, but just watch out if you can. I would probably go head first just because it would be a stronger silhouette. Let's see here. Because they also flash up pretty quickly. I think you might get away with... He has that moment and they can open up a bit maybe, but not higher than this-ish. So you have a nice clean silhouette so that the head can go up. And I would do a head that kind of snakes up and not has that kink here. And then as it's about to be done, then you can fall up with the wings. A will help you to have not such static wings at the end. And it leads, to me, it will lead more with grief. I know this is a weird comment, but this, it's kind of like this is being processed in here. And then, and then all that pain and everything radiates out. That is a weird comment, but that's kind of how I'm looking at it. Where I would lead with the head and you get just the head only first with a nice silhouette and the horns and the mouth. And then, and imagine it starts here and ends here and ends here. It's kind of like a fanning out of, um, what's it called? Uh, that, that energy. It's almost like this. And... <laughs> so to me it would be you know head first and then everything else kind of reacts to that um but before you do any of this um i would address a couple of things here so there's some really good stuff in terms of you know all the cool details the posing i still really like your crossing over of legs here uh there's some stuff going on here with the toes there's some good timing of slowing down and speeding up and getting to the kit, all that stuff is great. Um, I know there's some detailed things where this feels a bit where you can kind of bring down an ankle to get a bit more of a flatter pose potentially. Um, but before you do any of that, the main things I would fix right there, this is you starting an arc and it doesn't feel like it's swinging over with enough weight going this way and dragging going over. Right now, there's a slight feel of comes in and then does this. So watch this here and what right there. You're coming down and then it just stops. And then it goes straight down into this. That for sure. Because you, you don't want to start off with a shot where whoa this happens and you know like ah that's no good and then you're gonna turn off. And then because all that good stuff is halfway through. So you want to make sure that the audience keeps watching. So for me that section and it's a strange speed up right through here. So watch this here. And right there. It just seems suddenly fast. I mean, it doesn't help that the wings pop up as well. If I Even if I just look at the body, that seems just a bit too fast. Where it gets kind of sucked towards the ground here. So I would, I would kind of play this as pure physics. So just watch out through this section here. So for me, that arc, that moment there. That's all cool. And then the other thing I would look at as a third one is that whenever you have your, you know, your your steps here, I talked about that before, especially on something like this where there's such a handoff, no pun intended here, on this that you want to feel that when this front leg gets off the ground, all that weight is on here. So that's going to be some influence on that chest rotating over. This is not too bad. I feel like there's more stuff going on here. 
and I think you have the body go up a bit with this pushing up so that the root goes up a bit. You might push out a bit more and then be a bit more glidey through here, which you have. But then I'd be careful with this step. Feels just that leg part is animated and everything else feels very stiff. So if you scroll up through this, you can see how it's just not much going on. Despite suddenly all the way being on this leg. And same thing here. You can do this and... Again, not that you have to do some crazy side-to-side -side translation and rotation over and pushing that stuff up, but I would. I personally would do that. And then you start scaling it down. So just exaggerate so you have proper mechanics there. And then you look at, okay, well, how much do I need to read? And then you can go scale down by 50%. And then maybe more. And then as you continue on, look at your... There's this moment where the legs here, they float, 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 and they just kind of come up and then kind of come down in, in a very straight fashion. So watch your arcs, watch your offsets. I don't do it at the same time. And I will probably bring those up behind yeah, an arc in a bit, a bit later as if kind of tucking it in versus here to kind of just come up for no reason. It feels like it at least. I do like what you have here in the jaw. It's all cool there. And I like that it's not too much. That way you can do here, I would do a bit more uh, high frequency shake because there's more pain in this. But to me, those are the things I would address first. Again, there's, you know, there's some other things like here I would still drag those toes a bit more and flop them out a bit and even if there's little pressure just a bit you know maybe digging in and some spreading i just lost some detail stuff that we can talk about same thing here bringing the toes but i wouldn't do any of this just yet my th thought would be i would address this for sure that you got that moment here watch out your speed up there and then just overall main body mechanics and then once you have that, even then I wouldn't really look at this just yet. Then I would look at your um, tail and wings. Just because once you finalize the body and the side to side, I say shaking, but you know, the, the body transfer, the weight transfer, all that's going to influence the wings. So once that is locked down, then I will get into wings and tails. And then at the end, I would do all the toe details and stuff like that. Um, but yeah. Since you mentioned that you want to get this done uh, sooner than later, I would address that stuff first. And I can give you more uh, in-depth details. All right, detailed notes, I mean. That is it from me. Thank you. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.